Although the UN says there should not be a significant increase in cancer risk from the Fukushima nuclear meltdown, many residents living near the stricken reactor are worried. Dr. Motomi Ushiyama is a cardiologist living and working in Kanagawa Prefecture near Tokyo. But once a month, she travels to Fukushima to help doctors there. Many of the medical staff in Fukushima fled after the nuclear disaster. We asked her first, what are the health issues she has seen in Fukushima? I've not seen any serious illness in patients at my clinic so far. I've been hearing from my colleagues who are specialists in psychiatric practices that many people have been visiting their clinics with symptoms of PTSD. But is it true that more cancer patients have been reported since the disaster or is it misinformation? People in Fukushima are continuously exposed to high levels of radiation. However, the Japanese government has officially announced that adverse health effects caused by Fukushima disaster are unlikely. Since the government stated this so strongly, doctors, including the ones who belong to medical schools, have no other options but to keep telling people that there is no possible harm from the radiation. There's been news that the Japanese government is trying to raise the radiation safety standards in Fukushima. Why? Naturally, there is a constant amount of radiation in the air throughout the world. It's usually two to three millisieverts in Japan, and the government set an additional one millisievert a year on top of the amount as the safety standard. However, if they use the same standards for those who live in Fukushima, they won't be able to live where they do because the amount that they're experiencing surpasses the standard by so much. 20 millisieverts is still very high compared to the levels in Tokyo and Kanagawa. The government funded construction companies to operate decontamination for all houses within 20 kilometer radius once. However, the radiation level increased again soon afterwards. The government has been encouraging, or more like ordering people to return to those houses in that condition. The government is also saying to those who refuse to go home that if they decide to stay out of their hometown, they will terminate the financial aid. So the government is creating a situation where the residents have no other option but to go back. The government also refuses to do another round of decontamination, even if their houses have been showing high levels of radioactivity. The government has been telling those people that now it's their responsibility to set up a new life on their own and there will be no help provided. Are there more cancers being detected in Fukushima than in other parts of the country? Right now, there are about 300,000 Fukushima residents who were under 18 at the time of the accident. The prefecture checked them for thyroids. In reality, about 270,000 have undergone the examination. About 74 people were reported to have thyroid cancer or be at high risk for thyroid cancer. If you calculate 74 people out of 270,000, that comes to about 27 people out of 100,000 at risk for thyroid cancer. Therefore, the fact that now about 27 people out of 100,000 are at risk for thyroid cancer indicates that the current rate is extremely high. However, up until now, we have never investigated this thoroughly and done thyroid echogram on this many children, not in Japan.